Well, good morning and welcome to our service here on the third Sunday after Easter. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. Jesus says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. So let us turn away from our sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let everything be said and done in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God through Jesus Christ. Sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs. Let us sing to God with thankful hearts. Open our lips, Lord, and we shall praise your name. We now come to our readings. So our reading uh, this morning is from 1 Peter 5 verses 1 to 11 and it struck me that much of what Peter is talking about is directly relevant to us as we find ourselves today. Peter writes, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Peter encourages those who are persecuted, those who are in fear of their lives, to stay comfortable in the knowledge that God is in their wings, that God is there to care for them. Cast all your anxiety on him, all your anxiety regarding your health, all your anxiety regarding family, regarding finances, all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. But Peter does warn those people, those first uh, recipients as well, to remain alert, because it is not just about what we do. Like a roaring lion, your adversary, the devil, prowls around looking for someone to devour. Resist him steadfast in your faith. Be alert to the world that we are in. It is easy in the midst of days running into one another, in the supposed time that we have for time to just fritter away. We should use this time as Christian people to ensure that our own spiritual lives are where they should be. But in that peace, and often isolation we find ourselves, 
that we make sure our faith remains alert and alive. If we do that, then we will resist temptations to fall into anxiety, to fall into temptation, to start to lack a trust in God. Peter ends by reminding us that after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself restore, support, strengthen and establish you. What wonderful words of assurance they are to us. That we will suffer but for a little time and that little time will be nothing compared to the eternal glory we shall have when united with Christ. Peter ends, to him be the power for ever and ever. Amen. We come then to the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We come to a time of intercession. Almighty God, we pray for the world in which we live. We pray for those who suffer at the hands of coronavirus. We pray for all those involved in the frontline support and care of those affected. We pray, Lord, that your protection and safety will be with each of those people this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for your church throughout the world. We pray for those who are unable to be meeting together, for those who participate in online activities, that they will know your presence and your peace with them this day and always. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we pray for our armed forces serving throughout the world, for those who are actively involved in the COVID-19 support, for those on standard operations, and for those isolating and working from home and bases. Be with each of them and their families, Bless them and keep them secure in the knowledge of your love for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those known to us who are sick and ill at this time, that your healing touch will be upon their lives, that you will bless them and draw them close to yourself. We give thanks for the lives of those who have gone before us, that for the grieving families, you will draw close to them in their darkest times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So as our Saviour has taught us, we gather together our prayers. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Naval College. O eternal Lord God, who alone spreadest out the heavens and rulest the raging of the sea, who has compassed the waters with bounds until day and night come to an end, be pleased to receive into thy almighty and most gracious protection the persons of us, thy servants, and the fleet in which we serve. Preserve us from the dangers of the sea and of the air, and from the violence of the enemy. 
that we may be a safeguard unto our most gracious sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, and her dominion, and a security for such as pass on the seas upon their lawful occasion, that the inhabitants of our islands and commonwealth may in peace and quietness serve thee, our God, and that we may return in safety to enjoy the blessings of the land with the fruits of our labours, and with a thankful remembrance of thy mercies, to praise and glorify thy holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, our Heavenly Father, bless each of us this day. May his face shine upon us in the darkness we find ourselves in, and may we know his presence and his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst us and remain with us always. We end our service today with the words of the grace. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be amongst us and with us evermore. Amen.